The northern region of South America consists of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana are bounded by the Atlantic Ocean to the north and northeast. Venezuela is bordered both by the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. And Colombia is bordered by the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. All five countries share borders with Brazil. South America is culturally diverse. Spanish is the official language in Colombia and Venezuela. Most people in Guyana speak English, in Suriname, Dutch, and in French Guiana, French. A plateau called the Guiana Highlands is situated in southern Venezuela and northern Brazil, and it extends into Guyana and Colombia. The Highlands ecosystem hosts vast expanses of rainforest and open savannas punctuated by forests. The most notable Highlands landmark is Angel Falls in Venezuela, the world's highest waterfall. The northern region of South America is home to many fascinating creatures, including the largest snake in the world. The green anaconda can grow 30 feet long and weigh 1,200 pounds. Though usually feared by people, giant anacondas are not particularly aggressive. The snake lives in the swampy waters of the Venezuelan Llanos, the lowland savanna that is flooded each year during the rainy season. But the anaconda's habitat is shrinking due to industrial development in South America's Llanos. Conservationists and environmental organizations in this region are working to protect the natural habitats of South America and its creatures. located in the northern coast of South America. It is bordered by Venezuela to the west, Brazil to the southwest and south, Suriname to the east, and the Atlantic Ocean to the north. Guyana has a total area of 134,000 square miles, just slightly smaller than the state of Idaho. The Guyanese speak English, Creole, and Hindi. Much of its land is uninhabited because most of the country's three quarters of a million people live along its narrow coastal strip. Mighty rivers run through Guyana, including the Essequibo. They provide essential highways into the rainforest and jungles of the interior. Georgetown, the country's capital and largest city, is located at the mouth of the Demerara River. The climate in Guyana is tropical and humid, the average temperature ranges between 73 degrees and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainy season occurs in May and June, and again in December and January, with an average annual rainfall of 90 inches. Guyana is a travel destination for real nature and wildlife lovers. The giant river otter, the black caiman, and one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, the huge piraraku, swims in the country's rivers. More than 700 indigenous species of birds adorn Guyana's skies, including the Amazon kingfisher. And the remarkable but hard to find Guyana cock of the rock lingers around the waters of Kayatura Falls. Guyana's rainforest is full of animal life. Termites, giant toads, golden frogs, many snakes, the mouse opossum, and the great anteater all inhabit the lush landscape. Guyana's rich natural resources and exciting flora and fauna make it a popular ecotourism destination. Colombia is located in northwestern South America and is bordered by Panama in the northwest, which divides the Caribbean Sea in the north from the Pacific Ocean in the west, Venezuela and Brazil on the east, and Peru and Ecuador on the south. 
Colombia is slightly less than three times the size of Montana and home to more than 41 million people. It is the only South American country with coastlines on both the North Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Its land is marked by thousands of miles of coastline, vast savannas and lowland plains, thick jungles and the high snow-capped mountains of the Andes. In fact, most people live in the mountainous interior where Bogota, the capital, is located. Most Colombians speak Spanish. Even though Christopher Columbus never stepped foot on Colombian soil, Colombia is named for him. Colombia is most famous for its emeralds, found primarily in the Muso mines of the Cordillera Oriental mountain range, part of the Andes. The Muso district is the biggest of Colombia's emerald mine complexes, containing underground and surface mines. Emeralds have been mined in Colombia for over 400 years. Before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century, Indians gave emeralds as sacred offerings to their gods. In the narrow, dark, and humid tunnels of the mines, thousands of workers toil around the clock. They chip away at rock walls, searching for gems. Finding an emerald is hard work. Experts estimate that for every 10 tons of dirt and rock removed from the mine, on average a one-carat emerald is found. Still, local people search the stream that runs from the mine in hopes of finding emeralds that miners might have missed. Their hard work often goes unrewarded, as very few stones of value make it to the riverbed. The hard-working people and intricate Colombian landscape make this South American country as treasured as its emeralds. Venezuela is located on the northern coast of South America. It borders the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Brazil lies to the south, and Venezuela is the country between Colombia and Guyana. Caracas is its capital, and it is located on the Caribbean coast. Venezuela is densely populated. More than 24 million people make it their home. The Venezuelan economy is based primarily on the production and sale of petroleum, or oil. Venezuela is the largest foreign supplier of oil to the United States. Caracas is Venezuela's largest city. Founded in 1567 by Diego de Losada, Caracas is a huge, vibrant, modern city. It has many restaurants, hotels, theaters, museums, nightlife, and shopping. But Caracas is also plagued by crime, poverty, pollution, and traffic jams. More than four and a half million people live in this city. Buses, private automobiles, and taxis clog the streets during rush hour. Caracas introduced a modern subway to its public transportation system in 1983 but street congestion is still a major problem. Caracas is the center of Venezuelan life. It's a showcase of modern architecture and public sculptures, and it is the seat of Venezuelan politics, industry, and commerce.